You've got to be happy with that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, look, we wanted a response af- after the defeat against um, Bolton because we, we felt like we were making progress and we're in, we're in decent form. Um, and I think that showed today that obviously the Monday game was a little bit of a blip and uh, I got the response that I needed from the players and in the end um, I thought we were worthy winners. I must have been delighted with young Joe. That's his first starting in two years for Cardiff. Uh, he did really well, I thought. Yeah, he did. No, no, no. You know, you picked Joe out. Um, I think there were some, generally some good performances, but Joe, as you say, having not played Terry, has is, is, um, put in a wonderful shift for us today. Um, I didn't want to overstretch him because he's probably got to go and play on Tuesday. We lost Connor, which was obviously a bitter disappointment, Connor McElhaney. They seem to be linking up really well together, those two, um, in the first period. Obviously not the biggest, and most physical specimens you get um, in the championship but in terms of cleverness and and, and speed of thought that they're very good and I thought they were looking a real threat. The link with Whittingham as well at times is very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, well, the were, well, well that's what I'm saying. They were putting on runs, weren't they? If, if Connor was either short and, and Joe was going long or vice versa, um, it seemed to be working well. So it was disappointing that we've lost Connor today. So I'm beating in seven now, are we? Yeah, our uh, waveform is, 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 is really pleasing. Um, if only we could match that at home, um, it'd be a nice um, end to the season. But um, yeah, we first things first, we've got another difficult game on Tuesday away at Ipswich. Was it strange playing in front of no away fans, basically? Yeah, there. that's a first for me. Yeah, yeah Normally there's at least um, two men and a dog. But um, no, today there was nobody there. Um, so it was a little bit surreal. Um, disappointed for our fans, really, Terry, because they they would have witnessed a, a really strong, solid, professional performance and three points. Anybody likely to be back for Tuesday night that wasn't here today? Or is it sort of a bit quick coming out? Mm-hmm. Probably, probably, probably not. Um, we brought Semi and Gabs with us today. Um, after that, it was you know. We'll so one of those likely go on the bench. With yeah, we'll be, not, yeah, we'd be looking at under twenty ones after that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's your thoughts on the Ipswich game now? Um, another away game. Yeah, it's an, well, it's another away game, and we'd like to keep that run going. But we know it'd be tough and a very physical side, uh, strong side Ipswich, and of course they've got plenty to play for. Have good success from corners today. I think they're uh, obviously both goals and another. Um, where so has to make it safe. Is that something you identified before the game? No, it's just something that we've done very well on most of the season. It, it helps when you've got somebody like Whittingham who's got great quality in terms of his delivery. It's always a threat. It's always a chance for us to score a goal when we've got a corner and um, we've made good use of that today. Uh, and that is pleasing for sure. But what is pleasing most of all, really, is is the opportunities also that we set up in open play. I mean, we away from home, we've had two one on ones in the first period, and you know, on another day, you would expect to to at least bury one of those. And I think from that point of view, it would have made life a little bit easier for us if we'd have um, if we'd have managed to bag one of those.